Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Rubel. So today we will learn how to retrieve all customer information from database table and retrieve the single customer information by customer ID. Retrieve following item from the customer table. I mean, uh, for the customer. So we are going to filter out uh, customer ID, username, first name, last name, and email. So this uh, one, two, three, four, five. So these five fields should display only from the customer um, uh, customer information table. Then we will uh, delete the customer from the database by using customer ID. All right, so let's uh, go to um, customer. Uh, let's go to the database. So, so the last uh, last video we learned how to uh, install and download uh, the my Orpens and how to make a connection. So that part is done. So, and also in uh, before I come here, I also create a customer in um, uh, customer by using uh, Postman. So create a customer. So as you see, let me create a customer. We already know how to create a customer. So that's why beforehand I created. So you have a ID 49 customer. And another ID is 50. So expectation is this both customers should be available in the uh, in the database. All right. So let me just give you the overview for this uh, database structure. So as you know, this is called database uh, and database is named Vietnami underscore WordPress. So this is the database name and under the database, we have a tables. So this is the tables and we know the tables will have a row and column, right? So under the table, we may have all the um, uh, all the information for our website, like we have a customer information, we have uh, uh, user information, we have product information, we have, um, you know, like API key, everything here. So this is the, um, uh, the table, right? So like, for example, we are looking for customer lookup table uh, and customer lookup table will have a customer ID, user ID, username, first name, last name, email, day, like all those fields we are going to retrieve. So in order for to retrieve the, uh, you know, uh, retrieve any information, we use the select, um, uh, select a statement in uh, MySQL. So now uh, let's, okay, when you are here, you see on the, on the left side, you say SQL, the plus sign so you can just click on it so it will open the editor like this so now we are going to retrieve the all the customer that already have um, in our database and uh, in uh, so as we say we are going to use the select a star so this select a star meaning i want to see everything from the customer table so select a star from um, that uh, first, I have to provide the database name. Let me go up. So this is the database name. So Vietnami underscore WordPress. And um, then what? Then this is the database. Now we have to go to the table. What table are we going to pull? As we say, we are going to look, we are looking for the customer table. So, um, so we are looking for this table should be populated. So I have to provide, put the dot, then WP underscore WC underscore customer underscore look up so let me repeat the query so we are in order for us to retrieve any data from the database table we have to use the select comma and after the select if we put the star 
so it will information it will uh, retrieve all the data it will re retrieve like from customer id till state id everything will be display um, in our uh, console and um, and uh, from like we may have a lot of database right so we, we have to mention like what database we need to retrieve the information from so this is the database name dot table name and this is the table that we need information from so now if i execute this so you'd say uh select a star i'm gonna select a star from bitnami underscore what trace dot wp underscore this customer lookup is a unknown database so it looks like it's i mean i made a mistake somewhere let me double check the name of the database so it's bit B I T N A M I. Okay. So as you see, I am missing I. So now if I execute again, again it's missing. Okay. Let me B I T N A M I underscore W O R D P R E S W P underscore W E. I think. Oh, it's WC. So this should be WC. Okay, so now let me execute again. It executes. So as you see, like we can just read the uh, the response uh, by looking at the response, we can identify where uh, is the problem. So now select Easter from Vietnami and then we provide the database, then the column, uh, the, uh, the table name. So you see, we have a um so this is the customer id and this is the user id so our expectation to see the user id um so here is the user id but when we see in the postman is customer id so it's mapped from customer id to user id uh to the customer lookup table so let me see that if the information is correct so 49 the first name is test user let me open the postman so 49 So this is the information of the 49. And uh, first name is test, last name is user. Which put side by side. Okay, the first name is test. This one, ID is 49, ID 49. And last name is last name is user last name is user and test underscore user is the username test underscore user is the username so now let me verify the uh, id number 50 so this is id number 50 this test underscore user underscore one is the username test underscore user underscore one and uh, email also it's like this so it's massive two record we found here and two record also in the postman so so we done uh we are valid we, we done uh, database validation for um uh, retrieve the customer uh, all the customer from the database so now the second point that uh, we want to know retrieve a single customer information by customer id so uh, you know, like most of the time, we don't need all the information from the customer. And yeah, right now I have only two record. What about if you have a like hundred thousand record, or one thousand record, right? Is uh, we don't need all those record, and we don't need all the customer. We need a specific customer. So if we know the customer ID or uh, user ID, then we can um, uh, filter those customer. So right now. We are going to filter out the customer ID. Uh, so let's say we want to retrieve only the um, only the customer ID 32. So what I have to do, just make a comments uh, this line, or, you know, and, uh, here. Then uh, we are going to use the same um, uh, same statement but here we are going to use the where clause so where customer id 
customer ID is auto populated uh, is equal to 32. So that's it. So now if I execute, see is only display customer ID 32 information. So this is how we can filter out. Okay, so now uh, then let's see next. So retrieve the following item for the customer. So we can, let me put it on the side by side again. So let me go back to the customer table. So we are to filter out, uh, we need to like in the table, we want to see only customer ID, username, first name, last name, and the email should be display. Right now, as you see, is display everything. So, but we need to filter out this. Let me copy this whole thing. So it will be better for filter. Okay. Just make a comments. Okay, so now let me copy this, the first one. Uh, let's do this one because it will reach you only one customer. Let's see. Yeah, and I make sure we have to make it comments, otherwise it will skip both. So we want to use an, we have to filter out the username. Okay, our oh, customer ID username. So remove this thing, remove the star and provide. See, it's just two more ID, comma, then username. Nope, not the user ID, user, username, comma, then first name. First name, no, 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 value first name, comma, last name. So customer ID, username, first name, last name, and email. Okay, so comma, email. So I am. We are asking. Hey, uh, table. Can you please provide only customer ID, username, first name, last name, and email from this is the database name again. Then this is the table, and this is the customer ID. So you want to see this information right now. I don't want to see all the column, all the information. I just need a specific to this information. So now if I click. So right now, as you see, is um, display customer ID, username, first name, last name, and email. Okay, so the next we are going to, uh, let me see the, the, what should be the next. Next, at number four, uh, delete customer from database by using customer ID. So we are going to delete the customer, this customer 32 from the database. Okay, so what do you have to do? I can make a, uh, what, or, yeah, make a comment, uh, copy first and make a comments. Comments out that, not to make a comments, just comment out, paste it here. Now, what do you have to do? Delete everything so we say we are going to delete right so you have to use the delete statement delete from bitnami underscore press look up our customer id so you're asking hey can you please delete a customer id 32 from the database so now what you have to do just execute you see it has been executed successfully so now we need to verify if it is there um, execute or not so let me verify and run this comment you see i'm just uh, 
I I run once now I am just reuse them. Okay, so now 32. You see, is has been delayed. So now in order for to take effect, if we want to uh, delete anything from the database, we have to click on the commit. You see this um, uh, this button is the gray out. So now if we um, select here, is becoming uh, um, like right now is gray out, right? So if I click, then if I um, you know um, click again, so it will commit. So that means it will um, be delete from the uh, from the API as well. So, but sometimes it is take uh, it does take a, um, a few minutes uh, because of my uh, performance of the my database. So, uh, but but the main concept is like how we can delete the customer from database. All right. So this video uh, we are going to stop here. So the next we will look at the different table. We are we will uh, we look into the product like how we can look look up the product how we can uh, insert the product details um, and um, and how we can use the inner join, outer join. Um, so, so as I say earlier that uh, uh, for the DB, it will be like a, a few, uh, few session, okay? So I'll see you next time, thank you.